not long ago, in a galaxy just like our own. Soul Wars, the spirit awakens. With a narrow escape from the desert cobras, the agents and their friends move on to find the third piece of the designs. En route to the South Polar region, the crew of the Nemios take time to find out more about Safak Berean and his role in their serendipitous rescue. But while the heroes seek the lost designs, the Harbinger continues their search and may not be far behind. <laughs> So, Savik, Mr. Mongoose, what's your story? Well, I'm not sure what else there is to tell. I was following the Cobras, hoping to hinder their progress or help someone they had decided to torment when you all showed up. I didn't know what kind of people you were, so I waited. But what convinced you to help us? When I saw you two offer to give up your life to save your friends, I knew there was real love in you. I know. It made me feel somehow valuable. We are very grateful, certainly. So, why did you do it? Well, the bright side of the force, it's more than just some sp spirit, mystic energy floating around us. The bright side of the force, it teaches us how to live our lives and how to treat others. And since we became servants of the bright side, we began to serve others as well. Those snakes wouldn't have kept their word anyway. They would have double-crossed you. Well, thank you again for your help. Don't mention it. Hey, where are we going next? Our mission is taking us to the southern polar regions. You see, in our last adventure, I realized I'd been a bit too cavalier, just letting you guys walk into danger with us. I think you should stay in the ship when we reach our next coordinates. Don't leave us behind. Besides, what kind of dangers can there be in a barren, icy snowfield? Well, it is really cold. Like, really cold. And there could be other dangers. Are there Andorian snow beasts? No. Are there wampas? No, those are all on Hoth. Are there huge snow monsters with icy fingers and a bad temper? <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. You guys should stay on the ship. Well, the cold never bothered me anyway. <laughs> okay, you can join us on our expedition if you like. Just get some warm clothes. We'll be arriving in a couple of minutes. Wow. Why didn't you t t tell us it would be so cold? Well, it is the South Pole. I thought you would snow that. Already? Ah. Agent Corium, I can't get a clear signal. G5, what do the sensors say? Hmm. What did he say? He said that we made it to the coordinates, but the polar magnitude is blocking the signal. Even recalibration might not give us a clear uh, destination. Huh? We're here, but the terrain is messing with our signal. We're in the right region, but if there was recent snowfall, then the designs might have been covered up. We could be out here for days looking around and still not find it. That would be t -t terrible. Without a clear signal, we're all basically blind. True. But I've been blind before, and I'm sure the bright side will guide us like it did for us, or it did for me, so many years ago. Just focus. Here. Did you find it? Here it is. Oh, what a relief. See, all the technology in the galaxy can't match, match the bright side of the mm. force. <laughs> You're lucky we even keep you around. Mm. Agent Corium, may I see the design? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, not yet. I, I hope you understand. I thought you said the designs were for the people of this world. They are, but until we find all the pieces, assembling the designs, that's our mission. But we've come this far. 
Don't you trust us? Please don't misunderstand. We're, we're grateful that you came along and very happy for all the help that you've chosen to give us. But until you become agents of the way, you're not truly a part of our mission. There's wisdom in that. See, when I first heard about the way and the bright side of the force, I was alone. I used to work for the Empire. And because of that, when I became an agent of the way, many of the other members didn't trust me. They thought I was a spy, that I was going to betray them when the time was right. So it took a lot of time for me to prove myself to them. But they had a right to be cautious. The agents of the dark side, they are cunning and they are cruel. They seem like friends at first, but without the transforming power of the bright side, they are slaves to the dark side. I understand. Well, I don't. Excuse me for showing interest in the mission. Mallory, wait. I'm sorry about her. We've been through a lot lately. She'll be fine, but could you speak with her? I will. But can we finish this conversation on board the ship? I'm fr freezing. Sure. G525? Whoop. Start the pre-flight checks. Fiddle. Thank you. Mallory, she doesn't understand. Just give her time. We have no idea what they've been through, what they've had to do to survive on their own. I'm not concerned about what they've done, but what they might still do. We need to be cautious. See, she can't be all bad. Yes, she can. Boys and girls, uh, I, am, I am so intrigued to see what continues to happen here as they're looking for the designs. And today you saw a little something. They were lost. They couldn't find it. They were dependent on something outside themselves. They sought help. They found the designs. And that is such a great application and a lesson to be learned. Because boys and girls, there are times in our lives for the Christian for one who's come to turn from their sin and trust in Christ, where they desperately need the help, boys and girls, of the Holy Spirit to guide and direct them. However, catch this. It's not a spiritual magnetism. It's not as if we just snap our fingers and things always work out. Some of you know that with family stuff at times where things can be hard. They can be challenging. And yet, in Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, boys and girls, you can struggle well. You can be one who honors God even amid, even despite difficult, trying times. All because of the hope that's found in Jesus. Let's pray.